Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Hello again, I am Carol Howell with Let's Talk Dementia, and you have chosen to join me again. And whether you're doing so on video or on podcast format, I thank you. We are reaching folks in 86 or 87 countries, I forget which, and you're one of those people. Thank you for that. Well, today I'll be taking from my book, Mama is Confused and So Am I, as I did on our last episode. You can find it on Amazon or on our website, letstalkdementia.org. I have a chapter in this book called Pulling It All Together. Now, if you are like me, I'm a type A personality. I want to get things done today. Don't put them off to tomorrow. Get them done today. Get the hard stuff done first so that when you get to the easy stuff, you're just flying through it organization is my thing. I organize everything. Dementia caregiving, hmm, it can sure mess up some organization, can it not? It can change everything you had planned for the day. You throw coronavirus in that story and quarantine and stores shut down and and not being able to go out to eat when you want to or, you know, visit friends or whatever. Ooh, life really becomes very interesting and it has for me too so I understand what you're going through. This chapter is called Pulling It All Together and I talk about how we are called to take care of other people. If you listen to my show a few days ago called The Long Spoons, I told you about how the people with the long spoons couldn't eat but the people in the other room who had the very long spoons fed each other. You need to watch and or listen to that episode called The Long Spoons. But we are called to take care of each other. The Ten Commandments tell us to honor our father and mother. That's taking care. Um, We are taught to care for the widows. That's from 1 Timothy. And we vow to love one another till death do us part in regards to our spouses. So that's what we're supposed to do. But in order to have a successful caregiving journey, we really do have to pull on the resources that are available. Right now, your resources are limited in a big, big way. That's going to change, folks. We're going to come to the other side of this, and life will go back to normal. Mm, I'm being told, no, it won't. Life will never be normal again, what we consider normal The example I was given of this is if you think about 9-11 and what it was like to fly before 9-11. The processes that we went through to board a plane, the processes on the plane, what could be in your luggage. None of those things were in place before 9-11 and now, boy, it's big time different. Life did not go back to quote unquote normal. I'm being told to expect the same thing with this. There will be things in our life that change forever because of this quarantine. Is that bad? Probably not. I think there will be a lot of things that happen that will be for our good. And how do I know this? Well, I'm not psychic, but I can read. And scripture tells me all things work together for good. To them that love God, for those who are called according to his purpose, and that's Romans 8, 28. But when life gets back to where we can have folks in our home and we can go out and do as we please and back to going shopping or grocery shopping and not worrying about what diseases we might come in contact with, when all that's over with, then we need to be thinking about, do we have the support system in place for good caregiving? And I wrote in the book, here is a less than comprehensive list of the things you will need to be successful. You need help. You need support. You need dementia education. You need a helping hand. You need someone who will allow you to cry on their shoulder. You need a quiet place to which you can escape and find solitude. And maybe in that quiet place, that's where you allow yourself to cry, scream, and even yell at God. He doesn't mind it if you yell at Him. You need to engage in stress reduction activities on a regular basis. Exercise, yoga, meditation, breathing. We've talked about breathing a lot. You need good nutrition daily. And it's not coming out of the chips bag, y'all. No, it is not. 
You need to maintain regular visits to your physician. You need time to go to the nail and hair salon. You need time to go shopping, even if it's just for groceries, and to do it alone. You need other people. Most of all, you need a close relationship with the Lord Jesus as you seek His guidance, peace, direction, love, grace, mercy, and hope. And boy, do we not need all of those things right now? So I said to my husband this morning, I said, all right, what's Jeremiah 29, 11? He goes, I don't know what is it. I said, you know, I could tell right quick he didn't appreciate me um, quizzing him. I said, Jeremiah 20, 11, 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Really? Does the Lord know what's going on right now? Is this part of his plan? But what are his plans? It goes on to say, plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope, not for calamity. No, 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 no. And then today, I pulled up my today's prayer card. I told you I have a stack of these, and I read a different one every day. And what is today's prayer card? I don't know if you can see it there. And this is today's prayer card. For I know the plans I have for you. That's today's prayer card after I just said it to my husband this morning. God's good reinforcing that in our hearts and minds. Well, do what you can. Do the best you can caring for your loved one through this stressful time. And I know you're going to. But in the meantime, if you have a question, you have a concern, or you just need to let this story off of your brain, you need to talk about it. And you don't want to talk to your family. I can understand that. Sometimes families can be critical, but I'm not going to be. I am here for you, and at no charge whatsoever, you can schedule a 30-minute phone consultation. You can go to our website, letstalkdementia.org, and click on Calendar of Events. Pick the date and the time that you would like the phone call. When you click on it, it will come up and tell you to email me with your name and your phone number, and then I will get in touch with you on that selected date and time. And we'll talk about whatever. you got 30 minutes of free time. Let's do it. I'll enjoy hearing from you because I miss having people to talk to, right? <laughs> you guys have a great day. Be safe. Be smart. Cover your face and your nose. Take your scarf. Cover your nose and your mouth when you go out and about that you might be near other people. Keep a safe distance. Do your part. We all have our part to do. Blessings and smiles. Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to. And you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth, you can find Ms. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the, hunt, the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.